So here in our solution explorer, we are having two projects are there. One is here we created the service, and then here we we are uh, trying to use the uh, service host. Actually, I will try to explain my requirement once lesson clearly. Here, this is your client application, and this is my WCF service. First of all, I create the WCF service, and in WCF service. I have created two service contracts, two interfaces. One is I internal max, and the other interface name is I external max. And uh, within my WCF service, I have configured two endpoints. Uh, endpoints are nothing but the ABCs of the WCF service. A represents the binding. B rep uh, sorry, A represents the address. B represents the binding, and C represents contract. The address will represent the location of the WCF service. Once when you create the service, we have to host the service on the server. The location of the service will be available in the address. Binding represents by using which protocol we are trying to communicate with that service. And the contract is nothing but it represents the interface name. So here, if you clearly observe this requirement, when I enter the student number and student name, and here I will enter the marks one, marks two, marks three, and you click on calculate total internal marks. Then it has to display the total internal marks. And uh, when I try to enter the external marks, marks one, marks two, marks three, and click on calculate total external marks, it has to display the total of this external marks. And then when I click on the calculate total final marks, it has to add the total internal marks plus total external marks. Is it clear? And then when I click on percentage, I want to display the percentage. And I have written the logic to calculate the total internal marks in I internal marks service. In the logic to calculate the total external marks in I external marks service. So I want to consume this I internal marks service, this interface, by using basic HTTP binding. And I want to consume the external marks interface by using net TCP binding. So here what I want to try to explain you is, I want to configure multiple endpoints in a single uh, client application. In a single service, I have to create, I want to create two endpoints. And then I want to configure these endpoints in the single client application. I want to use one interface method by using HTTP binding. And the other internal external marks I want to use by using net tcp binding let us see how to do it with that so here uh, as first step i create the service and the next i want to i have host the service so in order to host the service here i have taken one start button stop button i want to configure the service in app.config file so you just go to your solution explorer and uh, here i will try to add the app.config file it is already there again i will try to delete and again i will add it right click on your project add new item select application configuration file the extension is app.config within this i will try to write some code uh, as i work with uh, wcf here i am trying to adding system.service model namespace within that i will add the services section and within that services section i will declare here service name is equals to so what is the name of the service here examination service dot here my class name is service one examination service dot service one is my class name and now here i want to create three endpoints here first of all i want to create endpoint one for what purpose to mention the information about my service name and the, the binding name and the interface name. So here endpoint is nothing but the combination of address binding and contract. Here within the address, I will try to declare the class name. That is my service name. My service name is service one. And binding. Here I will try to use basic HTTP binding. Basic HTTP binding. And here I want to use the contract is equal to interface name what is my interface name i internal marks it means that i want to calculate the total internal marks by using basic http binding and total external marks by using 
so yeah that's what uh, here i will try, give the contract name the contract is name is the interface name so i'll mention the namespace name dot interface name contract is equals to examination service dot what is my interface name i internal marks examination service dot i internal marks right and here i want to configure one more endpoint and here i, I will if you don't if you don't if you because here at the time of writing the Binding it will not give you the intelligence. If you want the intelligence, you can use here bindings. Here you can write the name net TCP binding. I want to use net TCP binding. Just copy the URL of the service and here you just paste it. The binding is net TCP binding and the contract name is nothing but I external marks. So I'll simply copy this one. I will try to paste it that's it right and uh, these two endpoints have created in order to communicate with the wcf service in order to calculate the total internal marks i want to communicate with i internal marks and in order to calculate total external marks i want to the i want to use the interface i external marks here you have to add one more endpoint called as max endpoint and here I'll give address is equal to max. What is the advantage of this endpoint means once when the service provider will create the service, he has to host the service on the server and the description of this particular service will be documented in a WSGL file. That is a web service description language. It is an XML registry and whatever the service that is developed, developed by the service provider, the entire information of the service <coughs> like the class names, method names, the interface name, the simple types, the complex types, the input parameters, the return type information, the entire information of the service will be available in WSGL file. In order to generate the WSGL file or in order to generate the metadata information of your particular WSF service, you have to configure one more endpoint, which is called as MEX, which represents metadata exchange. And here I will declare the binding is equals to here you are having the binding name as max binding is there max HTTP binding I simply use that one binding is equals to max HTTP binding and the contract is equals to uh, I metadata exchange I metadata exchange here I will write is it clear so this is how the main advantage of this max binding is to generate the WSGL file is it clear and after this particular service section within the service section I will try to declare one more tag called host section host tag within this I want to declare the base address and I want to add a two base address add base address is equals to HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon localhost colon you can give some port number 8091 some some any port number you can give slash what is the meaning of this base address actually the address consists of the location of the service so the entire location of the service represents http colon slash slash localhost colon 8091 slash service one at this particular location our service is available is it clear and now i will try to register one more base address saying that net dot tcp colon slash slash localhost colon you can give some name some 9091 any of the port number you can give this 8091 9091 these two are port numbers if you want to consume this internal mark service you have to use by using port number 8091 and you can consume the external marks by using 9091 here my requirement is i want to consume the internal marks by using http protocol and external marks by using net tcp protocol that is my requirement okay and that is about the service section now here i will try to open one more section called behaviors within that you can find here service behaviors and within the service behavior you can find behavior and you can give the name for the behavior is max behavior what, what you can give the name max behavior so what is the use of this behavior section and here you can write HTTP. yes here you can write uh, 
here here i have here i have declared behavior name is equals max behavior service metadata http get enabled is equals to true so what is the uh, meaning of this code here is it is not https simple http the meaning here is generally once when we create the wcf service this max is responsible to generate the wcl file the complete description of the wsgl file you can view with the help of http protocol so uh, that we, we are trying to get the wsgl file in the browser by using http protocol so here we are enable the http get enabled as true right so this is what you have done in the service section and now you go to your form 1 now i want to start the service in order to start the service we are having a predefined class called service host which is available in using system dot service model class is it clear now here i am having one predefined class called service host i will declare an object for that service host which i will declare one variable globally i want to open the service h dot open and i want to display one message here uh, something like label one dot text is equals to i want to display a simple message saying that service is started service is started at the rate so and so time i want to display the time system dot date time dot now dot to string the current system time i want to display is it clear and similarly when i click on stop button i want to stop the service so simply i'll copy the same code here i will write h dot here i will write something like close h dot what close service is stopped at i want to print the time at what time the service is stopped once build the solution and once check whether the service is running properly or not go to your solution explorer right click on your project uh, set as startup project press f5 and once check whether the service is started or not click on start here one minute here so here we have to create the object for the service host class just i missed that one so h is equals to new service host of here the type of here you have to mention the service name your service name is available in where examination service dot service one so just here you go and mention your name space name dot your uh, service name is it clear now once save and try to debug and once check the output so here you have to do a small modification here you have to check your contract name i metadata exchange and i added one more uh, attribute behavior configuration is equal to max behavior check the spelling here and binding basic http binding b is small i think previously we kept capital once cross verify that one and once you debug and check the output start the service is started you see started at so and so time when you click on stop the service is stopped at yes and here uh, what you have to do means you have to run the visual studio editor in administrator mode otherwise you cannot uh, see the output that is mandatory that you have to open your visual studio editor in administrator mode simple you just uh, select right click on visual studio run as administrator you just after developing you close it and again open it in administrator mode it will work so until now we have seen how to create the service and how to consume the service how to host the service in the next video we'll discuss about how to consume the service in the windows forms application thank you have a nice day